everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. Welcome back. I'm so glad you were here. Today we are going to be unpackaging some makeup brushes. As you can see by the title of this video, this is the ultimate Be Perfect brush collection, okay? These brushes cost me £63 because of my discount code and I think that's just robbery. <laughs> so before we crack into this video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe because it absolutely just makes my day. Okay, anyways, let's go. I really, really, really just wanted to see what these brushes look like. Okay, let me try and open these up out of the plastic. Oh my god. Nice. I actually haven't heard anything about these yet. I haven't heard anyone using them. This is going to be like a blind first impression. I don't even know what they look like on the inside. I just kind of went in and I bought them. But as I said, with my discount code, which is 20 PCD Diva, because they had to change it for some reason, you can get these for 20% off, and I think that is just unbelievable. But let me tell you if they're actually good before you buy them. So they come in a little sleeve like this. This is what they look like. I'm going to take them out. Ta-da! Ooh! Oh my god, it's like a pencil case. It's like a pencil case, but the front of it, like the feel of it is like plastic. I love the fact that the logo is just like right there, so big on this plastic like pouch. I don't even know what's inside, but I already love this. So you then, oh my god. Oh my god, it smells like school. This literally just brought me back to when I was like in school in Poland when I was younger. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, let's open it up so it zips up quite nicely. Doesn't feel cheap. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Okay, okay. Oh, oh my God. These two open up like this. <gasps> and then there is Velcro here. Wait, hold on a second. So this package is designed to sit upright like this. There is Velcro. On the back of these, if you bend the- Okay, hold on. It's not as easy to do with just two hands like this. The brushes sit upright. And this is just some amount of smart technology that I just- I, I don't understand. Like, look, if you put it down like this, I think it looks so smart. And it just looks so practical. Oh my god, this is just turning out to be great. Okay, so the brushes came with this full-on book, like this manual about them. That is so amazing for people that obviously aren't like full-time makeup artists and don't actually know what they're doing with their makeup brushes. Like it's full-on, I kid you not, it's an actual novel. Honestly, my biggest worry is that these brushes are going to feel cheap. Usually when people bring out like massive ranges of brushes, um, when they're making you buy them all, all together, it feels like there might be a little bit of a downside to the quality. They all come pre-packaged in a little sleeve, which is nice and safe. This is the first brush. Okay, they feel very light, very lightweight. Like this is, let me just actually get a brush for comparison. Okay, so I actually picked up a few different brushes just to see the comparison of the weight of them. This Inglot one, um, which is the Forest S brush, this is as light as this is. Like, the two of them, I feel like they have the exact same weight to them, even though, like, they look so different. Um, and then I picked up a Penny's brush, with this, this could literally fly away, it's so light. And then I actually picked up a Mitchell brush, and this seems to be the heaviest, so if you were to compare the Be Perfect and the Mitchell, the Mitchell ones do have a little bit of extra weight to them. And I don't really know if that's a good or a bad thing, but just to let you know, these do feel very light. So this is BPF01, so this one would be amazing for, like, highlight up here or even actually it's really delicate it would be nice underneath the eyes just to set like just inside here like I crease here so much it's so long so if you grab it at the tip of it you're going to have amazing control with this brush I want to move on to a blending brush so I believe this one right here would be your blender let's take this out of its little sleeve okay so this is a massive blending brush like this is thick yeah I probably wouldn't use this as a blending brush this is way too thick hold on a sec okay so we've got BPF 07 and BPF F08 so the two of these are very very similar to each other one of them just seems to be a little bit more tapered and taller these two I can see myself using a load they are so soft but then again, aren't all brushes when you first buy them. I do feel like these would be so, so nice. They're very dense. Let me just do a little test. I know that this is like rude and horrible, but I'm going to try and pull out a bristle. 
Okay, no, they do feel good. <laughs> you can't pull any bristles out. Okay, but so far, I'm really, really liking the range of sizes that they have. It's like, they're literally going down in size. Then as you're going down in size, they're literally getting smaller and smaller until you reach like these kind of brushes. So this will be your standard like pencil kind of brush. This is BP. BPE? Some of them are called BPF, some of these are called BPE. We also have one of these brushes which are so cute. I love these for the under eyes. I can see myself using this one for every day. But again, like the sizes of these are massive. Like this is the size of my face comparing to the brush. It's massive. We then have a, a very, very large flat like concealer brush, I believe. Not sure how great it would be to carve out your crease. You can always try it. But this brush does seem really, really nice. Like I can imagine it with the P. Louise base just like tapping it on the lid oh my god we then also have two angled brushes so one of them is tiny and the other one's a little bit bigger and the bigger one actually comes with a spoolie on the other side so this is like your standard kind of um brow brush i guess um i like the thinner one like i suppose this one should be for liner and the other one should be for brows right i suppose let's move on to the other side like i haven't shown you all of these but i might show you them on my instagram instead these ones are packaged up with that netting so i want to go with this a massive powder brush first so this one right here okay so this is a massive powder brush wow okay it's so big okay let me compare it to the two other biggest brushes I have so this is the Inglas um, I think one one SS brush and then I also have the Morphe it's rubbed off but this is a Morphe brush but for comparison like this one is still so much bigger okay so I actually opened up the rest of them from this side because I really wanted to see if there's going to be a foundation brush in this and sadly I don't think there is these are the last brushes then that came in this collection so we've got this one like that is quite dense I suppose you could use this for foundation but again the bristles suggest that this should be used for more of like powder products we then have a tapered version of that brush this would be great for underneath your eyes we have a tiny version of the first brush I showed you which again I'm going to love these for my under eyes but like there is just so many brushes here for under eyes we have a flat brush like this which I never use like I don't actually even know what to use this for okay maybe let's read about it okay so the BPF 03 which is this one right here it says a narrow flat taper brush perfect for working with cream products that's for touch-ups oil control setting fine lines and detailed contour we then have a like angled brush like this so I would use this for um, a bronzer and contour so it kind of fits perfectly into the hollows of your cheekbone so this is actually a nice one and yeah that's kind of all of them so there is quite a lot going on for like your under eyes like I suppose you could use this kind of giant one here for blusher I think this will be quite nice for blusher but they're all very very similar to each other so this I guess would be great for someone that genuinely has zero makeup brushes like if you have no makeup brushes and you just want to start from zero now be perfect do you actually have an amazing foundation brush so this is the empress face and body oh sorry base and body brush and I am absolutely obsessed with this brush like this is a brush that I use like every day so if you are thinking of buying this brush collection just bear in mind that there is no foundation brush so you will have to probably pick up this with your order but for me personally this could have been turned into a foundation brush just by making it that slightly bit bigger and then you would have had like the complete most perfect be perfect makeup brush range <laughs> So I've now opened all of them just to kind of show you what they look like and like honestly I think they are amazing brushes. The quality is good. They look really nice and smart. I love the kind of sparkly handles on them. They don't feel cheap, which was actually my biggest worry. There's always going to be brushes that I won't use. So there's brushes that I would have loved to kind of see changed out of this. This is still amazing for someone that wants to get themselves a new set of brushes, like a Christmas present for someone. This would be an unreal present. So these brushes on the Be Perfect website retail for £79.95. What they're making it out to be is that it's worth 20195 so if you were to sell all of these brushes individually that's what they would charge so you are saving a lot of money for a 20 piece makeup brush collection which is actually unbelievable best thing personally for me about this is that using my discount code you can get this for like 63 pounds which is just unbelievable so overall what do I think about this brush set? Love the packaging of it, love the way the brushes look. The fact that they can stand up like this 
it's just so cool like what I would give this collection a solid 8 out of 10. I will definitely, definitely be recommending these to people. Well, from makeup artists out there, would I say you have to have to have this? No. There's definitely a lot of brushes out there that we makeup artists already have. But for someone that loves makeup brushes and maybe potentially doesn't have many makeup brushes, definitely, definitely invest in this makeup brush set. So guys, that is pretty much everything for this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope that gave you a little bit of an overall view of what these brushes are like. As per usual, please don't forget to like this video. Comment down below if you if you have these brushes. Are you going to buy them? And if you're going to use my discount code, please let me know. I'm going to leave them linked down below with my discount code so you can go and check them out yourself. But yeah, this is my feedback of them. I think that they are actually quite decent brushes and I can't wait to use them. Anyway, so Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye!